Hi, lovely people of YouTube. Let me show you how to make the perfect, perfect carbonara. So easy and so good. First of all, I need to put some salt inside the boiling water. I have 200 grams of spaghetti. Just put them on top and hold your hands on top. Slowly, 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 let it go in. Don't slip your hands inside. So if I leave them on the side, sometimes the flame will burn it. With the help of a fork, I stir them a little bit. Because the water gone cold, now I need to bring it back, this water boiling again. Will take about eight to 10 minutes. You need about 150 grams of a pancetta, or if you don't pancetta, use a very good bacon. So cut it. This is roughly under 50 grams. Now, with the skin of the pancetta or the bacon, put them inside the pan. Make sure you go fork. Mine, I got best as finger. And let it flavor them a little bit. Okay, that is turn around. Lovely. You need about a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. Just put them inside. And you need one clove of a garlic. Crushed. Remove the skin, make sure that the garlic is only one piece. It doesn't matter, this one is crushed, so you can remove it. Just put them inside, you can see it cooks nice. The pasta, beautiful, boil is so nice. Now, you cut them into small slices, nicely. Ah. Now, I'm gonna put all my pancetta, lovely chunks. This stage, let's remove the garlic, because you don't want the garlic to really burn. You can see this is uh, the way I like it. Let's cut it. Get them all, all in. Get a spoon and keep stirring. This stage, I made this one of good use, which I flavor everything. Put them on the side again. In a bowl, I need three egg yolk. This is a nice way to do it. Little pinch of black pepper, very, very, very important. Little touch of salt, not too much. The pancetta has got so much salt as well, so you have to really balance. So, bit the yolk of egg. You need about 40 grams of a pecorino cheese. If you don't have a pecorino cheese, you can well use parmigiano. I know roughly how much I need, about 40 grams. I'm checking the pancetta is fried nice and crispy. I just mix all this one up. The pasta is boiling nicely. Look at this one, it's all lovely and crispy. Get lovely tongue. Because look, the pasta is ready. Just put them inside. Just get a lovely, get a lovely flavor of the pancetta. It will flavor everything. Keep doing it. Oh my, my. Saute a little bit. This is where you have to be very careful. Get some of pasta water. Just a little bit of pasta water inside. This is the egg and the cheese. We just put them all inside and start to stir it. And look how creamy it starts to become. It's fantastic. Right, let's plate it now. It's good. Look at that. Look. This is what I call them a creamy. Let's put them all inside. Oh. Look at that. Oh, my, my. Little grated of a pecorino cheese. Little black paper is incredible. You need to use a lot of black papers. And this is the perfect carbonara from our new food tube book. If you want to see more of this fantastic dish, click at the link below and let's cook it together. Let's enjoy it all together. And let's leave it nice all together. From Big Festival, where are we? Where are we? Can you turn around? Where are we? Big Festival!